Welcome back, I'm Matthew, and today we're going to do another shave video. And real quick, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and wet my face. I did just get out of the shower, so really my face should be pretty hydrated. And for today's shave, I'm going to be using the Blackland razor. This is the dart, and I did polish it, so... In case you guys see other ones they are machined and I'm also going to be using the Gillette silver blue razor blade it's my favorite blade and I'm going to be using the atomic rocket by Phoenix I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the get that soaking today's shave soap is going to be briar by Phoenix shaving in case you guys haven't smelled this soap, definitely getting some tobacco scent, oak, and some vanilla, and probably just a hint of dried leaves. Oh yeah, it smells good. And so I'm going to take and use my trusty 3D printed shave bowl, and I'm going to put a little bit of soap in there. If you ever wonder how much soap, I use a quarter of a teaspoon. And... I'm just going to smear it there in the bowl. How are you guys doing today? I have quite a bit of stuff that I'm going to be trying to get accomplished today, so I'm already a little bit prepared. Alright, so we'll just get that sh in there. I'm going to just kind of shake out the water get going this is the CK6 formula and it does bloom up pretty well when you're lathering it some soaps I like them thin some soaps I like them a little bit thicker it just depends on the kind of day that I ha I'm having pretty good to me handles nice and slick so it's slipped out of my hands already so you know that's gonna do real well on the face I try to kind of clean up as I go that way there's not as much so with this razor here it does have the post on the top Whenever you go to load it, I'll show you this Gillette blade here. This is the good old Canon camera and it doesn't seem to want to focus as well as the iPhone camera. So you just set that in there. The one drawback to this razor that I'll say, which really isn't a drawback, is it's not an open comb solid bar. I am a open comb fan. Alright, so I've already wet the face. Got my lather ready to go. I do have two days worth of growth. I'm going to warm the razor up. We're going to get this going. This blade is nice and smooth, pretty sharp, maybe not as sharp as the feather blade. It's definitely taking it down.
and this one is if you compare this razor here to the Blackbird I feel it's a little bit more aggressive and I'm shaving with the grain my hair on my neck kind of grows back that direction one nice thing about that soap is it definitely leaves quite a bit of glide in between shaves See if we can get messy here. This is a pretty big knot on this brush compared to like the Omega board brush that I usually use. It's very soft, it's a synthetic brush. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so now I'm going to go against, or not against, but across the grain. Not real good with talking whenever I'm getting around my neck area on the throat. Right here is kind of one of my one of my trouble spots in right here. I'm gonna do a cold water rinse. I gotta bowl full of cold water here we get cleaned up And to go along with that, I've got the matching splash. And the one thing I do love about the the Phoenix splashes is it's a aftershave and a cologne as well so it lasts for a long time throughout the day and then I'm going to follow that up with a little bit of star jelly to help keep the moisture locked in and that is definitely not greasy it dries really quick and uh, I mean it's some really good stuff so uh, I'll have a picture right here with all the stuff that I used today in case you guys missed it and uh, thanks again for watching if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comments below and uh, if I happen to forget anything I'll put it in the description box below thanks for watching